This video is brought to you by Ace of 12 Productions. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to enjoy the videos. Also, please try and comment and rate the videos. Thank you. One or more failed. Um, for instance, say I accidentally missed that the T on C out and tried to build the solution. Okay, here you can see it said one failed, naught succeeded. And if we uh, see the visual C++ Express Edition uh, is really good at helping you out with your errors. And here we can see, we can we can uh, skip all this, this is just the location of our file. It says error C2039. Uh, if you're really stuck with what it's telling you, you could try googling this error number. But otherwise, it, it says C out is not a member of std see our undeclared identifier so in pretty instantly you should be able to recognize whoops i meant see out uh just from this first it's not a member of c s uh, of std namespace but you'd just be able to look at that and see that you meant see out um or say uh i missed that there Okay, it comes up with quite a bit of stuff. Hello is an undeclared identifier. Because it thinks um, hello is a command like C out. Because we, we forgot to because uh, we forgot to put the first opening quote there. And uh, thinks it says missing colon before identifier world. So it thinks uh, because you need to put a um, okay, well, we'll go over this now. Uh, basically, after every statement, you need to put a semicolon to end that statement. So it thinks it thinks this is a command. It's saying, okay, well, that's a command. You now need to end that command by putting a semicolon there. And then we can go on to the next command. So that's what it's saying there. Uh, again, world undeclared identifier missing... Uh, semicolon. So it then thinks. So it thinks. Hello is one command. World is another command. Uh, exclamation mark is another command. Um, and basically, we can just go on. But um, you yourself will be able to realize. Whoops. And especially because of the highlighting of the text, you can see this is red. So you would know. Oh, whoops. That's not red. I guess I missed out a quote there. So anyway. Let's build the solution finally uh, correctly. One succeeded, hurrah. And we'll go to debug, start debugging. Okay, did you see that little black box there? That was basically C++ running our file. But uh, C++ is such a fast language that it can, it can output all this text. And um, it can output all this text really quickly and then uh, because there's no no command telling it to stop uh, it just instantly after outputting this text goes to return zero which as I said ends the uh, main function and the main, if the main function ends it's the end of the program so we need to find a way to um, to uh, hold the program until we say it can continue I'm basically just going to use this little command stdsyn.get uh, Now I'm not going to cover what this actually means until a later tutorial because this actually gets into uh, input and uh, I don't want to cover this yet um, so all I'm going to say is that we need that so we can read our text before the program ends Okay, and one succeeded. If we uh, start debugging, okay, we can see uh, what we missed out the exclamation mark there. But basically, we can see hello world, it's outputted that text, and it successfully uh, ended the line. And uh, it's outputted that text, and we can tell it successfully ended the line because if it hadn't, this flashing cursor there, which is this uh, sin, c in dot get would be right by the D. Okay, and if we just type anything, all uh, C in dot get is waiting for is an enter press. Uh, so if we just press enter there by itself, uh, 
program ends. And uh, unfortunately this is uh, an end to um, this tutorial. Um, I hope I've uh, explained a lot better all this uh, stuff that's going on here. Um, oh, and one more thing actually as well. Uh, because you output text so often, and we don't really use endl often because we, we substitute it with this so we make the line shorter, but we use uh, cout often and we'll use cin often later on. Um, how can we stop ourselves having to type std colon colon all the time? Well, remember I told you um, et std was um, a namespace here, c uh, vc++ shows as it means namespace std. Well, uh, we can u do a command up here saying using namespace std. Uh, so what this does is it basically says well, I'm going to be using namespace the uh, std namespace so often. I'm going to say I'm going to use it, and now whenever we type something in, it will uh, check to see whether it's in the std namespace before saying, "Hey, wait a minute, I'm not allowing that through the compiler," and giving us an error. And now we can just take all these std colons out, colon colons out. Sorry, all of them there. And if we build, build solution, okay, one succeeded, debug, start debugging, and it's exactly the same, it's just different under the hood, or internally under the hood, you know, slang term. <laughs> um, anyways, again, I hope you've, uh, I'll just comment this over, um, so, stops as having to prefix before everything in the std namespace okay and hold the program until that. Uh, now before I just finish off, um, remember what I said, you don't actually have to um, comment every single line. In fact, normally we wouldn't comment any line in uh, this program because it's so simple. Everyone knows what cout does, what endl does, what uh, cn.get does, uh, so there would be no point in uh, commenting this. Everyone knows what using namespace does. Uh, and include iostream does so there would be no point in doing this but um, when we go over more advanced stuff like functions we might comment our function to say okay this function does this rather than having to make the person read through the entire function to find out for themselves um, anyway this has just been a quick tutorial by sub 12 and I'll upload this code onto my website so you can download it um, if you're feeling a bit lazy, or, uh, yeah, whatever, you know, uh, I'll give a link in the description on all parts if I need to, uh, split it into parts, uh, anyways, um, good to be back over and out, I guess.